Services. Today we're in my 1996 Chevrolet G3500 van. I am currently leaving Columbus. It's uh, 8.46 in the morning. Probably the earliest I've ever left for this trip. And if I forgot anything, I'll have to buy it on my way because I'm not turning around. I am getting the heck out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, heading south on my annual trip to Daytona Beach, Florida. It's a 900 mile drive. My ways is saying that it's a 13 hour drive. Uh, it'll be more like 16 or 18 by the time it's all said and done. With fuel stops, because this gas hog ain't gonna make it there on one tank. Needless to say, I'll need to get out and stretch my legs a few times anyway, so it doesn't matter. I-70 East towards Wheeling, then to 33, then to 77, all the way down to Daytona. So hopefully it's an uneventful trip. I did some maintenance to the van before I left. Uh, this thing's, what, 30 years old? 26 years old? So pretty good old van. It does what I need it to do. I'm looking forward to riding some waves and some flat water. The forecast isn't looking great as far as the weather's concerned. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees down there today. Hopefully we'll have some of that tomorrow and then it gets cold. And then it warms up on Saturday when I, or Sunday when I, when I head back, turn around and come back home, which is a bummer. Well, I'm going to focus on driving for a bit, and I will uh, let you know if anything exciting happens. Well, we got 60 miles down, got about 12 hours to go. Uh, Bump and Reuter reports, it's a gray, dreary Ohio day in winter, early January. My, my gas gauge just started to move off full. Funny thing about these old GM vans is they uh, they don't read uh, on the top end of the tank, but they, they read the bottom of the end of the tank, which I'm fine with, because I want to know when my, my vehicle's about to be empty. I don't care if it's full. Got some 10 guys standing around looking at a pothole. It's about right for construction work. <laughs> Get there, it'll be worth it. Ride time is always enjoyable. Seeing old friends, making new ones. Turn well, the right. sun came out. Right I know, I need to turn road. around. Turn left. I do, I do need then to turn, turn left. Around. Hang on, you need to quiet down there, young lady. You're so demanding. Well, we are 280 miles down, almost a third of the way. I've got a quarter tank of fuel left. But this truck, when it hits a quarter tank, uh, turn left. it's basically out of fuel. Then turn left. Because it drops turn really. Right. Shush. Then turn lady. right on Oakville Road. You're so demanding. Ooh, there's an Arby's. I might have to get a roast beef sandwich. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fuel up the truck. The old beast is doing really well. It's got all the aerodynamics of a brick. So. Fill it up. We'll see what kind of fuel efficiency we're getting. I'm gonna guess 14, maybe if I'm lucky. Probably not. Let's find out. Why does BP make the black handle uh, diesel and the green handle for petrol? Things we all want to know. Sun's out. Excuse me. Ooh, that Arby's beef and cheddar's kicking back already. 26.8 gallons. So just over 10 miles a gallon. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, 10.373. 
3.333 gallons miles per gallon. That's awesome. Oh well. I could probably do better if I was driving slower. So let's hit the next 300 miles and see where we end up. This Princeton stop is pretty good. I think I'm like two miles from the tunnel. Four for ten roast beef. Shoot, I should have done that. Missed the sign. My ski's hanging out on a hitch hauler back there. I got one inside, one outside. Changing it up this year using my easy hitch hauler. All right, a oh, little semi coming. Let's get up to speed. Come on, old girl, you can do it. Oh, you're singing my tune. On our way to the Daytona Beach Free Ride 2023. Brought to you by Torrent Pumps and uh, about a hundred other sponsors. We really appreciate them putting this thing on. I know it's a lot of work, a lot of time, but every year it gets bigger and it gets better. I've been going to this since like 2008, maybe. I think it was the first year I went to this. So I might have to dig up some of my, my old footage from the first couple times I was down there. That could be entertaining. Stunt like Mike doing burnouts in the parking lot. Some guy on a <laughs> some guy on a on a pit bike riding around the upper levels of the outside hallways. That was I think he got a ticket for that. <laughs> uh, the memories. Y'all are a bunch of crazy people that come to this. So love it. Love every minute of it. At any rate. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Click like, subscribe. Leave a comment below. And we will uh, hopefully get to the meat of this event here soon. Down to Daytona Beach for the 2023 Daytona Beach free ride. It is a gorgeous 70 degree day. Some of the guys are already out there riding um, and shooting the sun, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see any of that. But we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna try some different angles through the day. Uh, got quite a few, quite a few people here already for Thursday, and uh, we'll see what kind of footage we can get for you. Big thanks to Brian and Nick and everybody that helps to make this thing happen. The 2023 Torrent Pumps Daytona Beach Free Ride brought to you by Hydro Turf. Looking forward to a long weekend. The weather's gorgeous.
ride's pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ride that thing for a little bit. We'll come back to you in a bit. up day one at the 2023 Daytona free ride brought to you by torrent pumps and hydro turf and many other supporters who uh, helped make this year's session a thing um, a whole bunch of vendors gonna be here tomorrow I'll show you their stuff I'm sure there's some new tech I'm sure there's some cool stuff for old tech uh, I rode that ski actually quite a bit today, and uh, I kind of like it. It's a, it's kind of fun. I like it. I dig it. Um, it definitely put a hurting on me, but uh, I haven't rode a stand up, let alone surf, in probably six months. So I'm going to be paying for it tomorrow. Uh, Thursday at the Daytona Free Ride is kind of a warm up. It's not really officially. Uh, the free ride the free ride really starts tomorrow on friday 
Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of cool stuff going on. I'll probably uh, see what the beach has to offer in the morning. And then I will head over to Flatwater Friday because I honestly just want to ride the lake for a little bit because it's not going to be as brutal. It's also supposed to be cold tomorrow, so we'll see. The Inland Lake might be a little more comfortable for us uh, people trying to get away from the cold. But at any rate, uh, we'll probably just do a prelude to Daytona Freeride 2023. And then we'll move on to the next uh, stuff tomorrow. So more to come. Stay tuned. Click like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. Thanks for coming along. And uh, we'll see you soon. Stay safe out there.